If this little guy was swimming around in the Baltic Sea, alleged attacks on deep-sea communication cables might have been foiled. The apparent sabotage on Monday morning hit the Sea Line 1 cable that runs under the Baltic between the German port city of Rostock and the Finnish capital Helsinki. The Sea Line 1 is 1,200 kilometers long and the only direct connection of its kind. This comes just one day after a similar undersea cable between Sweden and Lithuania was damaged. There are many of these kinds of cables in the seas around Europe. So, how can they be protected? Use unmanned submersibles to monitor the seabed. Deploy patrol ships to deter possible saboteurs. Lay extra cables to prevent complete failures. And even conduct underwater surveillance via sonar or cameras. Still, providing complete protection for these important infrastructure cables is very difficult. One day, satellites or sensors could be used for monitoring. Or him. The Quadroin AUV can collect environmental data underwater or survey the seabed at great depths. Thanks to its retractable radio antenna, the Penguin-inspired robot can also travel autonomously. Built by leading German company Evologics, it can be used for industrial and safety-related purposes.